Hello my dear students and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's lesson, I'll be teaching on transition elements. Now, transition elements are elements that are found in the D block of the periodic table. Okay, now transition elements are found between group 2 and group 3 of the periodic table, whereby group 2 elements are called the alkali earth metals, while group 3 elements are called earth metals, or you say icosagy. Now, talking about these transition elements, you can see they are found between group 2 and group 3. Of the periodic table so it means that transition elements are all metals and they have partially filled d orbitals now since they have partially filled d orbital they tend to have different characteristics now talking about this the partially filled d orbital of these transition elements accounts for one for them to act as catalysts Okay, it's as a result of the partially filled D orbital. And also, they form complex ion, they form colored ion, and also they have variable oxidation state. Now, these transition elements are discandium, vanadium, titanium, chromium, manganese, iron, cobalt, copper, nickel, zinc. Okay, now all of these are examples of transition elements now you can see i said that transition element they have the ability to act as catalyst now talking about talking about the hydrogenation of oil hydrogenation of oil is whereby oil which is precisely the propane one two three trial react with hydrogen now the catalyst being used there is called nickel to form margarine you get so transition element now they act as catalyst also, other examples are during the contact process whereby vanadium pentoxide is used. Okay, and also transition elements help to form complex compounds. These complex compounds are very important in coordination chemistry, like the likes of potassium hexacyanoferrin, like the likes of the vitamin B12 called cyanocobalamin. From the word cobalamin, it means it came from a transition element called cobalt. Thanks for watching.